All right, after sufficiently practicing the static float plus, plus catch, the slow motion jerk, the positioning in the rack, now it's time for the full ante, the double kettlebell clean and jerk. Couple things. I like to keep a wider stance that allows me to re-clean the kettlebells without having to move my feet. The considerations, driving the knees out for the dip to make sure you're not going into a valgus collapse, okay? The knees are always tracking that second toe or right in the middle of your foot. Another consideration, and some people might find this comfortable, is after each clean, they take a step in for their jerk. The only bad part here is that you have to continually readjust. If you're doing the readjustments, make sure you go right foot step, left foot step, right foot step, left foot step. And that's in order to make sure we don't get any muscular imbalances. My recommendation is find a universal stance that you can still drive power from. Okay, I'm gonna show you three double kettlebell clean and jerks. My intention is to have a really solid clean so the kettlebells land in that perfect position for me with the arms turned in and I have a lot of contact on the chest. Got double 24 kilo here. Let's do it. And that is the double kettlebell clean and jerk. Give that a shot. Three sets, five repetitions.